Hello everybody. I'm shooting with a brand new camera today, so I apologize if it's a little choppy or a little weird. I'm still trying to get to know the camera. I have a 2012 BMW X5 35i. Got about 130,000 miles on it, and I've got a engine malfunction, reduced power, error message on the dash. I pulled the codes and I'm getting a 2C57. which according to Google Translate, I'm using a BMW tool for Android called Mer-Tool. It's a fantastic code reader, very inexpensive. I'm using a standard K plus D can USB interface. Terminates in a USB plug. And then I have a USB adapter here, which takes the USB to USB-C. And then that plugs directly into my very, very cheap Android phone. Incidentally, the engine malfunction light would normally come on under heavy acceleration. So probably when we're trying to get some turbo boost. And when you turn the car off and restart the car, the fault would be off. Uh, there was a code stored, but the fault light would be off. The engine malfunction light would be off upon subsequent restarting. And then under heavy acceleration, warm engine again, the fault light would come back on. So uh, that's one of the other symptoms I wanted you to be aware of, of how the fault light displays itself. It seems to reset itself every time you shut the engine off. So let me show you where you need to be looking. A lot of times people will jump right away to the boost control module, which is a pretty pricey module. I think it's in the over, well over $100 range. But look for the simple things first, and this is what I did to fix mine. If you look just to the left of the ABS booster pump here, there's a braided hose right here. So this is a vac line that's sitting inside of a nylon braided hose. It runs under the pump. And then you can see it right here. This hose right here runs under the pump and then runs along the side of the engine. There's the hose right there and it runs into the boost control module. So that's just regular vac line. So I'm going to reach down and pull that line off. You're going to want to pay attention to where it is. Um, but when I pull the line off, this is what you see. So that's the problem. That's split. You can easily just cut off a half inch or an inch, and there's enough slack there that it should still reach. The hose from BMW is over $30. As best I can tell, BMW VAC line is you know, a three and a half millimeter ID. So my plan is to just snip it off and use a silicone hose with a coupler on the end of it. Rather than replace the entire hose. Here's a view of my repair. All I did was I cut off an inch off the existing tubing, vent line, put a little coupler here, and this is silicone. And I'll make my connection with the silicone hose. That should last a long time. There's a little bit of a bend there, so there's a little bit of stress on that hose, so that silicone should be much more durable than the rubber. My repair is complete. That white colored line you see in the center of the picture is that silicone line. There's one other spot I would recommend you check while you're here. It's over on this side on the uh, intake pipe. They are known to crack. Mine is not cracked yet, but my understanding that a crack on the intake pipe can generate the same fault. That crack normally appears right around part of the body, so you would normally pull this clip up to take this pipe off. But a lot of times the body of this pipe will be cracked along in here. 
that will supposedly uh, also throw the same fault. It's not uncommon for this to have been replaced on a lot of vehicles with a metal pipe. That's my little tip for you today on how to clear that fault. Just make sure you check that vacuum line. It is possible that you've got a multi boost solenoid, but before you go replacing that expensive part down there, check the most inexpensive thing in here, and that is your vacuum hose, and make sure it's not deteriorated on the end where it plugs into that boost control module. So thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful or informative or entertaining, how about a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel.